six years ago. Six years ago, Sin City Live was born and later became produced by Seven Principles Productions, which is now also produced on this show as well. So allow us young individuals to do a roll call as we welcome back to the spotlight, Miss Cynthia Hickenbottom! <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you for having me, first of all. This is third I, appearance. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And you know what? He gave me this um, spot, this spotlight. Yes. With um, DuJour and Crystal and David, mm -hmm. uh, guest on my show. Yes. And this was the gift that he gave me, and yes. I always kept it. Oh yes. Yeah. But I had to. You know, I'm still trying to make more of those shirts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just haven't had the. We just haven't had the time, right. basically. But you know, we're working on it. Okay. Here. But we're, but we're, but we're, but keep in mind, we may update it. Here, mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. So, especially with the contact information on the back. Yeah, because mm -hmm. now we're all on on all social media platforms with the same name, the Spotlight MNN on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Okay, there's your problem. That's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't supposed to do that, but I did it. Anyway. I mean, you gotta take those opportunities. Yes. All right. So listen. Six years mm -hmm. of Sin City Live. I mean, was has there anything changed or anything that you learned out of oh, doing this? Oh my goodness! First of all, I learned everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, because it wasn't even supposed to be my show. First of all, it was supposed to be my first husband's show. Yes. And then all of a sudden, he's like, "Okay, it's not gonna be my show anymore." Uh, Cynthia, it's gonna be your show. It's like, oh my goodness, I've never had any experience in TV except for watching it. Okay, and you think <laughs> that. Doing a show like that, interviewing people is basically easy. All you have to do is sit there and ask questions. But it's not. Not the way I do it, at least. Because I like to speak to mm -hmm. the guests. I like to do my homework, find out what's going on with them. Mm -hmm. And that's some of the stuff that I learned. And one of the best things you got to learn is to surround yourself with knowledgeable people who are dedicated to their job mm -hmm. and not afraid to share information with you. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I have that. Mm -hmm. You sure mm -hmm. do. You sure mm -hmm. do, you know, because... Go ahead, Emma. Oh, no, I was going to say, I mean, yes, you've come so far. And what are some of the challenges you've had along the way to getting this team of people? And also personal challenges to being on camera. I mean, that's, you've produced, you've starred in and created so many shows. Mm. So I'm sure you've had your fair share of challenges to overcome. Okay, so I just taped show 33 and 34 today with my guests Marlene Villafane yes. and Lucia... A gr Grillo. The one that smashed my face here uh, in a lovely way here. <laughs> yeah, she's appeared on the, both of them have appeared on the spotlight yes, as well. Yes, they have. Yes, you know, so, this season. Um, so as far as challenges go, the biggest challenge was, first of all, getting my voice. When I first started, is getting your voice. How do you speak? How do you own what you're doing? You know, this is my show. I'm doing it, and I own it. The second thing, the pandemic. Mm -hmm. The pandemic was crazy because, you know, we yes. couldn't tape at MNN. Right. We only tape, we tape one show. We have, we air one show a month, the last Tuesday of the month. Mm -hmm. So we couldn't tape. And like you were talking about with the Zoom, I don't Zoom. I like to have the personal touch. You know, we're sitting here, mm -hmm. we're talking and everything. I didn't Zoom. The third challenge was no challenge. Because, like I said, I'm surrounded with a great team. They're my Sin City Live team. Okay? That's I have got David us. Martinez. That's how we got nostalgic with the Zoom here, okay? <laughs> and no. Seven Principles Production is who produced my show. That's Stanley Mitchell. So between the two of them, we get so much done. Then we have... Other crew members that come There's in. a third person that helps me out, and that's Whoopi here as well. <laughs> <laughs> you always got to give her a shout out. Uh -huh. But, I mean, having the right people around you really <laughs> helps. So that, that just eliminates mm. a whole lot of challenges right mm. there. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because, you, know, you know, whenever I'm in, 
work when I'm watching the show, I, I, I get the impression I'm hearing Jennifer Lewis. Has anyone told you that like you could sound like Jennifer Lewis when you're doing your show? Because I, I could see the energy is up in the air when you... Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. But no, nobody's ever told me that. But they tell me, I, uh, I, I love your accent. My accent. I was born and raised in New York, grew up in the Bronx. That's right. So I guess I just have my own way of speaking. Mm -hmm. And uh, call it a Cynthia scent. <laughs> Sin City. Yeah, Sin City. A, a resident of Sin City. So. I had a little bit of Bronx, a little bit of Manhattan, a little bit of Brooklyn, Queens, uh, and you too, Staten Island. <laughs> so what are your dreams for the next steps for you and Sin City Live? Oh my goodness, I've been talking with, with um, David and with Stan about maybe taking it to a full hour and uh, maybe changing the the time because right now we air on the last Tuesday of every month uh, from four, from five o'clock to five thirty on MNN.org Lifestyle Channel Two or MNN.org mm -hmm. no uh, Channel 1993 or on MNN.org Lifestyle Channel Two. Mm -hmm. So, um, but that's the th kind of thing that we want to do. Open it up more. That would you have two get more guests, more interviews oh, yes. if you go to an hour? Because right now it's like it's 28 yes. minutes. So we, we have a lot of music performances. Mm -hmm. And you want to get to know your guest. And yes. you want the guest to be able to get what they want to know out. You know what they want yes. my citizens to know. My audience is called my Sin City Life citizens. Mm -hmm. Hi, citizens. <laughs> you know, you so they, they want to know stuff. So, but yeah, it would be a lot, but I'd have at least two guests on. And is there anything else that you would do different if you were to expand Sin City Live going forward here? Well, we would open it up to maybe some sketch comedy mm -hmm. uh, and just, just change it up. Mm -hmm. And so Sin City citizens and the Spotlight citizens too, please look for that to happen. Sin City Live. You heard that, you. <laughs> We get too young for Sin City Live. Oh, this yeah, show please. Here, okay? <laughs> You're going to make me like I'm some old lady. I am well marinated and well seasoned. Oh, well, there you go. And you <laughs> are one of a kind, a legend here. And thank we thank you, you so and, much. And you never passed your care. prime. Yeah. You know, you you're, <laughs> you're not another amazing example for us ladies out there that you can start something, a little, a, a mid-career change. Anywhere. You Any, can start something anywhere. You never know. What, you just have to be prepared. I mean, it fell right in my lap. Here it is. I'm there to do a production meeting, and I'm supposed to be his admit man to his Johnny Carson. All of a sudden, he just flipped the script and said, nope, it's going to be your show. <laughs> All right, I'm like, what? <laughs> Who doesn't want a TV show? I mean, come on. So it's like, okay, Sin City Live was born. And as a first-time host, you're now six seasons in, and it seems like you've been doing it since you were born. Oh my goodness! I That's was by then. You're <laughs> born, born, born to host. Yes. I Wait till were. you get to your 100th episode, Cynthia. Then it's really gonna be something. I well, hope. we're looking forward to that. We'll see what happens, but we're close. You'll be right there when I do. Well, we'll be close. To, we're close to our 100th episode sometime soon. Mm -hmm. later, maybe later this year. But you know, the thing about it is, I only air once a month. Yes, that's so, the difference. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And how do you pick the guests for your show? Well, I have help. Um, Mr. Martinez over here. Mr. He Gold has Mrs. Goldberg. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't Mr. mind Whoopi me. over here. Uh -huh. Whoopi <laughs> over here. You know, and then um, people who know somebody who knows somebody. It's like, I like, Sin City has a population of diverse and interesting people who want to meet you. So that's where I grab my people from. We've had authors, we've had singers, we've had dancers, we've had um, actors who have come on and done readings. It's, it's terrific, it's a, it's a variety show. Mm -hmm. You know, so we love it. And the, the, um, the guests seem to love it too because they always want to come back. And my, it, or my Sin City citizens love it too, so it's as long as they keep loving it, I'll keep bringing it. This is the reason why we watch Sin City Live here, all Yay. right? We, there's just not enough time with oh. you, Cynthia, you mm -hmm. know. But our special thanks to Cynthia Hickenbottom, 
Stick around. She's going to help us with close out the show. But Sin City Live airs under Seven Principles Productions on the fourth Tuesday of every month at 5 p.m. on Eminem's Lifestyle Channel. As she said, <laughs> check your local listings you and go. at Eminem.org for time and channel. And we'll be right back, y'all. Ah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>